So when it comes to sourcing products to sell for your small online business, there are two main websites that people turn to. It's either AliExpress or Alibaba.com. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few differences between the two platforms, AliExpress and Alibaba. And I'm also going to be letting you guys know why one is better than the other. So if that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. So guys, before we start this video, please make sure that you have a pen and a paper and you are ready to take some notes. Okay. So to put this in simple form, Alibaba.com is a business to business website where AliExpress is a business to consumer website. That's the easiest way that I can explain it. Okay, so now that we have that down pack, let's go into some perks and features of AliExpress.com. So guys, AliExpress is going to be a retail version of Alibaba.com because remember, Alibaba is for business to business where AliExpress is to business to customer. So AliExpress is literally for customers. It's for people who want to buy products at a affordable price. So one cool thing about AliExpress is that they do not have a MOQ, which is going to mean a minimum order quantity. So AliExpress is actually used by a lot of people who have e-commerce businesses, but they do drop shipping. Drop shipping is where you don't actually keep stock of the products. It's where the place where you buy it from, they're going to be shipping that product to people who are purchasing from your website. So one thing and the main reason why I do not use AliExpress is because their shipping time is absolutely ridiculous. It can take anywhere from one to seven weeks, seven weeks being on the more likely side. So now that I got your attention, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You guys, it helps YouTube to push these videos out, which we need. We are trying to create more and more entrepreneurs, you guys, more small business owners, more people who are go-getters and want to create something for themselves. So subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell and you will never miss one of these videos. So back into the video. So AliExpress products are already made. So literally the picture, the listing that you are seeing is what you're going to be getting. You cannot add any customization you cannot do any private labeling. Whatever you see is what you get. So AliExpress prices are a fixed rate. You cannot negotiate whatever that price is. That's what you're going to be paying. So now let's move over to Alibaba.com, which is actually my favorite. So on Alibaba.com, you're going to be able to request quotes. You guys, you're going to be able to request prices for different products, which also brings in the mention of a catalog. So let's say you're shopping for jewelry and you want to pick up a few pieces. You just don't want to add one piece when you're launching your business. So let's say you want a few pieces. You can go ahead and ask them for a catalog catalog. Their catalog is going to feature all of the products that they have. That way you can choose your product and get quoted on that product. So Alibaba is going to allow you to do private labeling and customizing your products. So if you see a product that you like and you don't necessarily like the color scheme or you don't like the logo design that it has on front, or you want to add your own logo, you can definitely do that on Alibaba.com. So Alibaba.com, which is absolutely awesome. They offer a buyer's protection, which is going to be trade assurance. So this is going to secure your payment and your entire transaction to make sure that it's a smooth process. Okay. So one thing Alibaba.com does not offer is drop shipping. Well, you might get lucky if you create some kind of connection with your wholesaler via a WhatsApp, because that's usually the next step. Once you have purchased from that vendor for a few times, you do move over to WhatsApp to communicate with them better. But one thing Alibaba also has is a MOQ. So a lot of the times you can't just order one product because again, they are a business to business platform. And when you have a business, you're not just ordering one product unless it is a sample, which I highly encourage. So the coolest thing about Alibaba.com is that they offer so many payment options, including financing, which is going to be perfect for people who are just starting their businesses. So I'm going to save the coolest thing for last, which is going to be their shipping. You guys, Alibaba shipping, literally I can purchase a order and get it the next week. That's how fast their shipping is. The cool thing is they have a lot of different shipping options. I usually go with FedEx, UPS, or even DHL, which is the fastest. Okay guys, so there you have it. I have compared AliExpress.com compared to Alibaba.com. So it's up to you guys to determine which one you want to use for your business. I definitely recommend using Alibaba because they are made for businesses and not consumers. So yes, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments, which one do you buy from? Like, are you using AliExpress or 
Are you using Alibaba? Are you on my gang? Are you on this gang? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace and much love. Bye, guys.